Yo, what up gamers? Welcome to my Hardcore Edison Nuzlocke Nuzlocke Challenge. In the League of Legends Nuzlocke Challenge, failure means your champion is disabled and you cannot play them again. The two main versions are that failure is either losing on a champion or dying on a champion. In this Hardcore Edison Nuzlocke Nuzlocke Challenge, I'm not allowed to either lose or die, meaning that even going deathless will still disqualify my champion if it is a loss, and vice versa. I'm also limited to only playing bot lane with ADC champions, so my initial pool is limited to only 21 champions. However, we've introduced a rule where if I get a pentacle, then that is my one chance at reviving a champion. We're starting this challenge at the very bottom of the ladder in Iron 4, and we'll see how far we can climb before we lose every ADC. Will I get the bronze, silver, gold? I honestly have no idea because I've never tried anything like this, but I'm excited to find out. Keep watching to enjoy this journey with me, and subscribe to keep up with future episodes. Yo, what up gamers, I'm Report Arc, and welcome to episode number 12, is it? Yeah, 12. Episode number 12 of Trying Not to Die. Life and Life depends on it. Gonna be playing Zaya this game, who I should bloody hope I don't die on, because this is like one of the safest ADCs. Definitely one of the ADCs I the least deaths on, so shouldn't be too hard. Get him off at support though, which might make things a bit rough, but at least he isn't running TP like the Sona. I got the Lethal Tempo active. I just want to disengage against the fourth shot. There we go. Alright, that'll do for now. That's a pretty good trade. Hear my words. So we got a level 2. I'm just gonna go for a quick QE poke on the gen. Since we can't really trade any other way at the moment. Use this time to play so war. That once again, I actually failed to uh, keep track of where the jungler started. I must. Really no, he th he actually started topside, didn't he? We used enemy bot and was um, cheesing instead of leashing. So I actually gotta watch out for potential Warwick gank. As far as I know, Warwick doesn't really full clear. So he could be bot like literally any second, as far as I, as far as I know. So this is our sign to just chill at this point. We don't want to force trades too heavily. We don't have to like uh, completely, you know, be super scared. Because the chances of him actually making a gank work if we're just chilling and not actively in a trade are pretty low. So I don't even like care about trying to freeze. The only concern is that maybe Malphite could die. But I'd rather keep pushing my... Lead here and keep harassing the gin. Now the mirror moth I'd have a uh, word up for a while though. Yeah, I'm gonna keep shoving this wave under turret. I think Jin is just gonna be recalling now. So I really wanna shove this as fast as I can. No, actually I assume again so I can just chill with shoving again. It is gonna crash at this point though. We can just wait a little bit. Get some more mana. Nature bends towards chaos. Give in. Oh crap. I almost got a turret shot there because I got blocked by a by Alright, um... I'm gonna place my trinket right about here this time. We got Leon bot side as well, he just full cleared. All women desire a con. So at the moment, I literally have no idea where Warwick is. I would have assumed this path would be something like blue into Grump, then maybe Wolves. I would assume he would skip Raptors. But if he'd farmed uh, all of those camps by now, he would have gone for a bot gank already, but he hasn't gone for one. So I have no idea as to what his pathing was after what I assume it was. He may have just kept farming, he may have done something else. Oh. Well, that's a risk. It was alright though. He didn't even have to flash Jin did. We're gonna max E as you do on Zaya these days. Okay, we see Warwick finally. He actually did full clear. It just took him a while to full clear. Mm. I don't want to try and kill him because if I don't actually get the kill. Okay. 
Here, I have no choice but to uh, go block him off, though. Or we'll just be stupid not to. There we go, and I even got the kill. Perfect. I actually could just do with pacing now. Jen is recovering a lot of a lot of HP from Sona's heals anyway. This should be fine to just do that trick without me, I think. We'll grab the Noon Quiver and we'll grab the boots. I guess what we're waiting for... Mana, we can just wait for a fillable at the same time. Otherwise, I would have just left base either with two potions or just no potions at all, I guess. Probably two potions would have been the best bet. <laughs> Especially when the aim is to not die. Potions can be quite good for that. Anyway, Jin, I guess he didn't really know what my team was doing. I saw that they were... Obviously, I knew that they were on Drake. But he just knew that they were missing, so I guess he was too scared to shove that wave in. Especially if maybe they did not have a ward available to place there. So he actually left this wave in a really bad spot for him, but in a really good spot for me. I arrived to this massive wave and he just missed out on like two waves. Alright, nice. Missed some CS for going for that trade, but I would say it's worth it overall. Small never based. Must be a little bit up on me and XP. Okay, I don't want to go too aggressive there because I don't have a trinket to place to check for Warwick. Otherwise, I would just completely chase him down. If it, like, it would be probably like 80% likely to work out, right? But on the 20% chance that Warwick is just happening to like walk up through there, I don't want to risk over chasing there. If our existence is everyone else's chaos, so be it. I got a trinket about to come up. Okay, I see Warwick topside now anyway. Um, I could do with just placing a trinket anyway, just in case Katarina wants to roam. She's not roaming so far though, so maybe I'll just hold on to it. Like, she's uh, just staying in vision. Usually in high-low, I'm, I'm used to Katarina's at that point, just uh, hovering out of vision to go for a gank. Ooh, okay, there we go. Just really got that kill. She flashed, didn't she? Yeah, that was a fight. That was her. Oh god. Alright, there we go. Maybe I didn't need to ult for the kill, but uh, just call me off guard. I'm not sure if I had a queue up in time. Either way, I probably shouldn't need this to survive. That being said, uh, I don't know where Katarina is, and I wasn't paying attention. Oh god. Yeah, okay, mob fight. Go for mob fight! Are you serious? She's trying to run my KD8. It's not happening. I'm good. Dude, she could have just gone for mob fight. Like, not only did he not have flash, although, you know, obviously she might not know that. But he's literally lower HP than me. Dude. Go for the freer kill. Granted, I do have... You know, I am worth, like, over two kills, but still. If she'd gone for mob fight, she would have killed him. She went for me and she didn't get me. Did cost me my flash though. Anyway, that is a good lesson to uh, never stop paying attention to what the fuck the enemy mid laner is doing. Cost me my flash and my heal. Hopefully we won't need those, but... You know, you don't want to waste them if you can avoid it. Would have been as simple as just not going for the plating. Blowing flash and heal was not worth 80 gold. Okay, so Warwick is mid, but we don't know where Katarina is. I want to play... Okay, we see her. If she was going to stay out of vision, though, even longer, then I would want to play ultra safe until I got my ultimate up, just in case there was some kind of, like, stupid shenanigans where she's just trying to lean gank us or something.
You know, I'm trying to expect the unexpected here. I should have blocked that. My bad. Could have denied him the cannon. Anyway, we can just freeze waves here until Moffat is ready to hit an ultimate. He's literally got ult up and we... No, we're not getting ganked by Katarina, at least. I'm not really scared of Warwick. Whenever you're ready, buddy. There we go. I'm not going to use Z or anything. I can just kill him with auto attacks. Then we can save our cooldowns for Sona. We can't actually kill with just autos, so... Oh, no! Oh, that should have been a kill. That's my bad. I should have been able to root her there. Oh, come on. Are you serious? All right, we'll just go for this wave. Okay, so again, I'm paying attention to Katarina's movements here. She's just shoving a wave, I can tell just by looking at the map. So after this, she... Well, we'll, we'll see if she decides to dip down there, but... In general, you would want to pay attention to where she goes after finish, she finishes from the wave. Also, I should be able to kill someone here. What am I doing? Yeah, I didn't really execute that as well as I could have, but... That works out. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just saw Katarina here. I looked at the map right as she disappeared over there. I'm gonna go ahead and base, because I don't really have the HP to fight here. I do have ult, but I still don't want to risk it. Nice, we got the Drake. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Kraken Slayer. And I think I'll try Collector Second. What I I almost always do Navori Third Item on Zaya, and this is gonna, this is gonna be no exception. I usually do Phantom Dancer Second with it though. I'm gonna try Collector because Collector skill, you know, it works really well with abilities because of the armor pen. And. Um, we're gonna have a lot of abilities up when we go co uh, no worry throw at him. Ooh, damn, that's unlucky. Wait, why does Jin have a blue buff? Anyway, I can, um... Yeah, just an easy 1v2 here. Don't know where Warwick is. It's not quite as scary as Katarina, but I also don't want to keep overextending against, you know, something that might be able to kill me if he has ult up. So, you know, I do, like, let my guard down occasionally, like, when I'm fighting. But as soon as the fight ends, I'm just immediately look looking at the map and I'm just thinking, okay, what could kill me? So, like, right now, for example, I don't know where Katarina is. I, I am scared to hit this plating. I have Malphite with me now. But the thing is, uh, if I were to get ganked by Katarina and Warwick at the same time, Malphite would probably not be able to save me. Even with my ult up, even with Malphite's ult up, I'd probably die there if I don't have flash. I can only survive the gank if it's only one of them at a time. If they have the gank at the same time, you know, it's unlikely, but I'm not going to take that risk here. By now, oh yeah, I was gonna say, by now I'm pretty sure that Katarina isn't actually ganking because she would have gone back mid again. Junglers might wait 30 plus seconds to make a gank work, but mid laners sure don't want to give up that much farm. Oh, Sona is top lane for some reason. And Jin is kind of trolling. Why are we playing as so many trolls, man? Like, at least this time I got really fed before they started trolling, right? The past two games, at least, were the enemies... Like, me getting fed partially because of the enemies trolling. Okay, I let my guard down, by the way. I didn't notice Katarina was roaming. That being said, this should be a free kill. Even if Malphi happens to miss the ultimate, we're gonna be okay here. And he didn't miss the ult, so... Well done, Malphite. Uh, I can also go for the Golems here. Just gonna do that, deny them from Warwick. Might as well get this one too. Dude, I'm... 300 gold away from Collector. Would feel like a shame to back before I've got that. Oh, she is just coming back bot again. So the concern here, yep, I was gonna say is if Warwick shows up as well. I should be perfectly okay here. I don't know about my fight though. Warwick might have flashed. They so could try and like flash behind Malphite and ult me. I still want to say though, I just need one more wave. No one will block my path. 
I was gonna ward, but I don't wanna step too far to play set if Katarina's gonna be walking up like that. Okay, I'm gonna shove this wave, but I'm just gonna hold on to W just in case, in the off chance that I happen to need it. I doubt it though. Alright, there we go, we got the collector. Oh boy. Oh, he's still going for it, even though he hit the wrong person. Yeah, so we're just gonna go mid here. We're gonna start impacting the map now that uh, the bowling turret is down. I doubt we'll be able to use this herald to get the turret, but we can maybe bait a bad fight for them here. Well, that should just be a dead Katarina, yeah. I'm just nowhere near in range to capitalize on that. There we go, that's one kill. Can we maybe get this guy? I wanna let the aggro drop and then go for him again. There we go. Uh, my fight? Yeah, I'm not healing that. He was gonna die anyway. <laughs> Could have escaped even without my heal if he just went out of the turret range. Okay, so what could kill me right now? There's Katarina missing, there's Sona missing, there's Kill missing. I doubt I'm gonna get ganked by Katarina and kill at the same time. Plus, Katarina's probably just, yeah, coming from base. But we'll back off anyway, just to play it safe. Okay, hopefully on the next base, we should already be able to have the Nobori. So the Nobori third item, I think, is super underrated on Zai. It's basically an item that I use instead of Infinity Edge, at least, you know, delaying Infinity Edge for it. You don't want to get Navori too early because it's so expensive and also just not really efficient, too efficient before you've got much crit. But I'd say by the third item point, when you could be building Infinity Edge, that's also when Navori really becomes strong. And in fact, I think it's stronger than Infinity Edge. I would rather prioritize the Navori over the Infinity Edge on Zaya. Because you get, I think you get about similar damage, honestly, when you consider um, how much damage you get out of lower cooldowns. But you also get so much more utility because your W just makes you so much more mobile when it's just permanently up. Uh, you get... Obviously, much lower cooldowns on your E roots. You get much more feathers out there because you can use so much more abilities in general. Just seem to find me. So, you know, I, th I don't think you're like losing anything for it, but I also think you're gaining a lot for it. Hey, yeah, Vayne trying to 1v2 here. Probably gonna work out. But I'll hold over there just in case she needs my help anyway. Like they know what to do with him. Or if I can kill steal. Or kill secure, sorry. It's looking likely like I will. Yeah, I didn't want to use QE because I knew there, would, there was a decent chance that one or two of them might flash. I thought it would probably maybe be one of them at max, but they actually both flashed at the same time. Okay, um... I guess we'll just go back mid now. Oh god. Okay, nice. Even if he hit that, I'm sure I would have been fine overall. Nice one. Okay, now I actually have the gold for Navori. Just gonna go ahead and base. <coughs> yeah, I just wanted to base and get Navori before anything else. We could technically the right choice would have been to go for blue buff, but at this point I just want to make sure that I'm able to show off the Navori to you guys. Funnily enough, my support just soloed the enemy blue buff, though. So at least when you go Phantom Nets for a second, your W just literally has an infinite- or no cooldown whatsoever, if, um... You're able to just auto attack non-stop with the Collector, because you're auto attacking a little bit slower. I suppose it won't be quite as low a cooldown. But it's still gonna be, you know, r pretty damn low. Just don't want to waste it on Thresh though, because you can't crit on them. Okay, I just uh, sniped there. That kill definitely only happened thanks to Collector. Oh, I gotta be careful with the fact that I don't actually have ult right now. 
Nice. Nature bends towards chaos. Give in or break. I'm gonna try and go for a snipe on Warwick too. There we go, that's easy. <laughs> one. Could this maybe be our Penta game? Nice. That was about 400 damage on kill just for pressing E. Okay, red isn't up. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're here. A little bit risky, but I assumed they wouldn't react in time to use ult. Pretty sure they didn't have vision. I'm so tempted to flash and then just try and... Okay, get the penta. Come on, keep running at me, guys. I could die for trying to go for that penta, though, considering there's a turret here. I'd like to get a penta, but I don't want to die for it, because I is one of the best champions for me to play in this challenge. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother going too aggressive there. Oh my lord. Almost killed Katarina there too. Okay. I got my finger ready on the R button in case I need it for Warwick Cold. Okay, well. Mm, the red buff is back up, so I'm thinking I'm gonna take that. I'm also got, uh, I've also got way too much gold. I'm just gonna grab at least Infinity Edge. Next fight with the Infinity Edge is gonna be much more chances. We actually also get a Penta, hopefully, with any luck. My team should be able to get that Drake just fine without me. There's no way the enemies would even bother trying to risk contesting here, surely. Okay, we'll sell the Durn's Blade for Quick Look at this point. So final item here, I would probably just do a uh, Fire Cannon. I don't think I would need Lord Dominic's. Uh, and Fire Cannon is pretty good at this stage of the game since my, you know, a single auto attack worth of poke is going to do a lot of damage at this stage when I got as much AD as I do. And as much crit. I feel so tempted to try and 1v5, so if I kill them all, it's a guaranteed Penta. Uh, that's also a lot of potential for stuff to go wrong. Oh crap. No, don't go in vain. I'm not in range. Alright. I hope Bane doesn't kill them all. Yeah. I figured she'd probably try and go for me, but there was no chance she had the damage to kill me when I'm this fed. I'm not gonna be able to get the Panther because they're just separated so hard, man. God damn it. Alright, let's hope they have time to revive before we end this game. Nope. Okay, they surrendered. God damn it! It's so hard to Penta when they never fight a single fight to survive, man. Ugh. Oh well. I wonder if Malphite. Uh, I don't- I think that was his first time playing Malphite. He only picked Malphite because the team said we needed a tank. We didn't, but... Worked out. Okay, so plus 14 LP. Progress is very slow. But 75 LP, we're getting places. Almost at RN2 now. That for sure is a lot of damage. Anyway, 
no penta again but we'll keep searching for it i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future guys and i'll see you guys in the next video later gamers